Hey there, gamers. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been following me for a while, you know we've explored many Nintendo Switch emulators together. And let's be honest, the emulation scene is constantly evolving. New emulators are popping up left and right. Today, we're going to dive into yet another exciting one, Pine Emulator, which was released not long ago. If you're curious about this new player in the emulation space, then this video is for you. Uh, we'll be covering everything you need to know about Pine Emulator, from its features to its installation process. So please don't skip ahead as I'll be guiding you through the entire process from start to finish. By the end of this video, you'll be able to enjoy your favorite Nintendo Switch games on your Android device using Pine Emulator. Let's get started. So, what exactly is Pine? Well, it's an emulator designed to run on ARM V8 Android devices, and its main goal is to mimic the functionality of a Nintendo Switch system. This means you can play your favorite Switch games on your Android device. But here's the best part. Pine is built on top of another Switch emulator project called Skyline, and the team behind Pine has also used Ryujinx as a reference point which has been super helpful in getting accurate, high-level emulation of Switch subsystems. Plus, the Ryujinx team has been really supportive, providing valuable insights and assistance whenever needed. And that's not all. Pine's shader compiler is actually a fork of Strato's shader compiler, with some specific modifications to make it work seamlessly with Pine. Now, you might be wondering how Pine is able to achieve all this. Well, the team has been using SwitchBrew's resources extensively, including their comprehensive wiki and LibNX library. These tools have been crucial in ensuring the accuracy of Pine's HLE kernel and Sys module implementations, saving the team a ton of development time. So how's Pine doing in terms of features and progress? Well, it's still an experimental emulator, but it's made some significant strides. With ongoing development and contributions from the community, Pine is shaping up to be a really promising emulator for Android users. Now let's talk about performance and compatibility. Pine's performance and compatibility are continually improving thanks to the dedication of the development team and contributors. Of course, some games may still have issues, but the emulator is getting closer to delivering a smooth gaming experience. So what's next for Pine? Well, the team is committed to ongoing development and improvement. And with the emulator's open source nature, community involvement is encouraged, which ensures a bright future for Pine. Now, how to install Pine Emulator. To install the emulator on your Android phone, please follow these steps.
In conclusion, Pine is an exciting project that holds great potential for Nintendo Switch emulation on Android devices. With its open source nature and community-driven development, Pine is definitely worth keeping an eye on. We'll continue to monitor its progress and provide updates in future videos, so stay tuned.